Hear me, church. Meditation does not necessarily happen when you are feasting or dwelling on the word of God. As you are looking at me right now, there's no vacuum in destiny. Every time you are meditating, at every point in time, you are regurgitating something. Unfortunately, most of the time, your meditation is usually on the wrong thing. Please, mark what was said to Joshua. A book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt do what? Meditate there. What is he supposed to meditate on? Book of the law. He didn't just say to Joshua, you will meditate, but there is something you need to always be putting your mind on the book of the law. Anytime you find out you are not meditating on the word of God, chances are you are meditating on something that is anti the word. There is no vacuum. The Bible says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things that are true, whatsoever things that are honest, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So people of God, if you think outside of here, you might be in trouble. The power of wrong meditation can create a huge stronghold in my heart. See, let me tell you, strongholds come from a situation, however it affects your entire destiny. What am I meditating on? On. Let me say this to you. For every one person who has mistreated you, God has lined up 200 other people to treat you right. I know sometimes they might look like five people just offended me today. Five people offended me in one moment, but forget about it. There are many more people who are there. God has prepared for you that will celebrate you, celebrate what you represent, celebrate who you are. People of God, I, I hope you understand you know that thinking and meditation is not the same. I can think through a matter and not pause on it. But meditation is your ability to squeeze out the juice out of it. So the devil will look at the way someone looked at you and tell you, sit down. Let me tell you th that look, what it means. You know that look means they don't value you. You write it down. The devil say, write it down. Point one, they don't value you. Let me give you another point. It's because you don't have money. The devil say, write it down. Point two. You know, that thing your mother said that you will never be anything useful. That is why he treated you. Say, write it down. Point three. So you are meditating. When you come up, your mother is already in trouble. Everybody around you is already in trouble. Please, Ask yourself. As you're looking at them, call yourself. Say, Jerry. Say, what are you meditating on? If you understand what I say, can you turn that louder? Amen.